Okay, so we're going to start into our unit on chemistry. Um, as you start your study of chemistry, I stole this, by the way. See the copyright right here? Chem think totally stole it, um, but it's great. Um, so we need to get an idea of what's happening on an atomic level. Um, this tutorial is called Particulate Nature, um, which is basically a fancy way of saying that everything, all matter, remember everything that takes up space and has mass, okay? Um, so all matter is made up of little particles, particulate particles, um, and those are called atoms. So by understanding what the atoms are doing, we can understand why matter, substances, act and look the way that they do. Okay, so there's only about 115 or so different types of atoms. They're all arranged on the periodic table, the different elements. Um, there's thousands and thousands of different materials that you interact with every day. So like you, the, what you're sitting on right now, your computer, um, everything you eat, drink, breathe, all that stuff is made of atoms. Um, so we're going to take a look, closer look at what atoms are doing. Um, so we're going to start with the penny. So if we zoom in on a penny with like a magnifying glass, you're not going to get very close to an atom. But if you keep going, um, whoops. Um, if you could turn your magnifying glass into an atomic level magnifier, you could take a look at what the atoms are doing. So here we go. We're going to zoom in. And you can see down at the atomic level, all those atoms are the same, right? So whenever a substance is made of only one type of atom, it's called an element. In this case, it's apparently an old penny, and it's made of copper. Um, and the symbol for copper is a capital C, lowercase u. Um, the other thing you should know is that those atoms are moving, but they're not actually moving around. They're stuck in the same basic position. That is because, oops, that is because this is a solid, okay? So if something's a solid, the atoms are able to vibrate, but they're not free to roam around. Atoms are the same, okay? So any element is going to be a pure substance. Um, that's it for the penny. All right, let's move on to water. Okay, so same thing, magnifying glass, can't get close, blah. This is, this is a little bit different. There's no individual atoms here. Um, there's two or more atoms joined together. In this case, there's three. But anytime there's two or more, we're going to call it a molecule. Okay, so water is a molecule, not an atom. Um, here's a picture of one water molecule. It's made from one oxygen atom, the red one in the middle, and then two smaller hydrogen atoms on the sides. It's written as H2O, so that means there's two H's, one oxygen, two hydrogens, one oxygen. Okay? Shows you the red, white. Um, the two tells you how many atoms of each element there are. No subscript is the same as the one. So it could be H2O1, but we're just going to stick with H2O. And since there's two different types of atoms in this molecule, it's called a compound. So anytime there's more than one type of element or atom, it's called a compound. Um, another thing you should notice about water is the way the molecules flow. That's because this is a liquid. Um, and you could write this little L down here. You really don't need to worry about this, so please don't look at that too much. All right, last thing, we're going to look at this balloon. And we're not really going to look at the balloon. We're going to look inside the balloon. All right, so inside the balloon, it's filled with air. Okay, there's no individual atoms here. Um, we've only got molecules floating around. See how they're all paired up? Um, and there's actually a couple different kinds of molecules in here. Um, so the most common one is this blue one, which is nitrogen, which is two nitrogen atoms stuck together. So N2, because there's two of them. And again, the subscript, two, there's two. Okay, so even though it's a molecule because there's two of them, it's still an element because it's just nitrogen, okay? Um, there's another molecule that looks like this, red, gray, red. There one goes kind of in the corner. They're not very prevalent in there, but you can look for them. Just keep an eye out. Um, that is CO2 or carbon dioxide, okay? So same thing, the C is the gray one. Um, and finally, the last one present is oxygen, just like nitrogen. There's two of them stuck together. This time they're red. Um, so it's a molecule because it's more than one atom bonded together, but still an element because both atoms are the same. Um, and then since this is um, air you're looking at, you can notice that the molecules are all very far apart and moving very fast. Um, that's because this is a gas. So we have a solid in the penny, liquid in the water, and then this is a gas. Okay, and then this, yeah, you can watch them. Yay, super. Moving on. Um, last thing, this is an example of a mixture. So the um, first two were pure substances because the smallest parts were all the same. This is a mixture because there's different atoms and molecules moving around. So you have your nitrogen, your oxygen, and your carbon dioxide. Um, so it's a mixture. Like if you made a salad and you put a whole bunch of different ingredients in. Um, we can tell that the molecules are not chemically bonded together because you can see them all floating around differently. They're free to move about on their own. 
Um, and so you'd write your equation for this like this. You don't need to worry about too much about this right now, but we will come back to it. So you have your nitrogen, your carbon dioxide, and your oxygen. And they're all gases, but please ignore that part. All right, that's it for the balloon. So we've got our penny, our water, our balloon. All right, and we can review what we just saw. So the atoms are molecules in a substance moving move differently depending on the physical state. So in a solid, they're going to be in a regular pattern. They can really only vibrate in place. In a liquid, they have a little bit more freedom of motion. They're still very close together. And in a gas, oops, sorry. In a gas, they're way far apart. They move really fast. And there you go. Now it's only letting me go backwards. Hold on. Let's 